my husband brought home this box for me. He thought that I could use it for something and I found it just perfect. So I got him to cut it out like this and I just cut out a piece of wood to fill into this hole that it had here on the side inside of the box. I did not want that there. It would look really weird. I did uh, give it a bit of filler and sand it and now I'm painting the walls white before I put on the wallpaper that I made for this. I googled Halloween uh, wallpaper and I found a picture that I liked and I made sure that I have it enough times so it actually can be used as a wallpaper um, and this ended up really cool. I'm cutting these up in a uh, length of 4.4 cm wide and the length of the paper. And I used two pieces of paper to have enough wallpapers for both walls in this little room. Then I cut out the door in uh, some thick paper and now I'm just making the door frame with my easy cutter and some uh, wood sticks that I had lying around. Then I placed the door on the wall where I wanted it and drew around it so I don't have to put wallpaper right there. Then I used some decoupage glue for gluing on the wallpaper. I don't think I said that right but uh, I hope you understand anyway. I'm just uh, using it as a glue. I'm not going over the wallpaper. Oh, and I used a fixative on the wallpaper before I started gluing it on so that the uh, print on the paper would not uh, smear um, if it got in touch with the glue. I always do that. Now I'm just placing the wallpapers along the side here, uh, avoiding the door. And I'm doing this on both sides of this uh, little box. Now to the floor. I have these icicle sticks uh, and I have a lot of those. So I measured out 12 centimeters and cut these into lengths of 12 centimeters and half pieces in 6 centimeters. And I sanded them in both ends. I have these wood stain markers and I wanted to see which one that I like. So I tried a tiny bit of each of them on a, a piece of this wood so I could see the color of it. I placed these pieces on the wallpaper and chose the color that I liked the most and that is this one. So now the tedious work begins. I'm going to color in all of these wood planks one by one. After I did that I am going to take my Patex wood glue and I'm going to glue each of these boards down and I'm cutting them into uh, the lengths at the top so that I have this uh, triangular shape at the floor when I'm all done. Uh, and I think this came out really really cool. And now my wallpaper is all dry so I can just take my knife and cut off the excess of it. And I do that in every place where I have some wallpaper hanging over. Then I am going to take my door and I'm going to glue it in place. I'm coloring in some smaller foot panels and I am actually also going to color the door frame. Then I'm going to glue the door frame in place and place these foot panels around the floor. Thank you. 
I also placed a inside uh, door step to make uh, the end here a little smoother and nicer. Then I glued on two uh, wood beams here in the corner of the room at the top of it. Um, and these are for hanging the ghosts later. I have this door handle and a small key that I got from eBay at some point. And I'm using my doll body here to measure the height of the doorknob. I'm coloring this little piece here black because you can see that through the keyhole of the doorknob. And then I'm just going to uh, glue this one in place. The key I will place in a little string so I can hang it later. I am using these chopsticks as leg for a little table. They are 5.5 cm long. The tabletop is 9 cm long and 4.5 wide. So I'm just measuring off these small pieces for the inside of the uh, table, the underneath of the table they are going to sit like I'm showing here. So I'm just going to glue these in place. When the glue is all dry, I am going to glue in all four legs, one in each corner. And again, I'm going to let this dry all up. When the glue is all dry, I am going to paint this little table black and I gave it two or three coats. I let that dry and then I gave it a tiny bit of glaze to make it a little more shiny than this paint was. I made this little coat rack of a uh, leftover piece from the door frame and a few small needles. And I'm going to glue this in place. I place it a little higher than the doorknob. Then I made these small electrical outlets circuits. Um, on and off light switches and I am going to glue these in place as well. I have a link for how I made these uh, and I'm going to place that in the info box below. I have this red velour uh, fabric and I'm using some double sided tape that I'm just placing uh, a strip by strip on this little piece of fabric. Then I cut so that I have a straight edge where I have tape all out to the edge of this piece of fabric. I fold it on the middle and I am going to cut a half circle uh, through all these pieces of double tape. Just like that. And then I am going to place it here in the room, uh, taking one piece of the uh, tape uh, things off here so I can place it nice and easy and not all too fast. Then I glued the table here in place in the room. I made a little tablecloth the same way that I made the carpet and I glued that in place with the double sided tape. I made this little black basket in the candy video uh, and I'm just going to glue some of these different candies into these baskets to stand on the little table. I also had the cauldron where I placed some of the bags with candies in. Um, and these are all going to stand on the little tabletop. I found some 3D print files for small frames online and I 3D printed them on my resin printer and painted them. I googled the Adams family and uh, in black and white 
and found a few black and white pictures from the first ever Adams family. I printed them out in a size for the frames, placed a tiny bit of tape over these pictures, glued the frames on and cut them out. My husband found this little mirror for me and I 3D printed a frame for it, painted it all black. Then I am going to use my uh, glue fix and some uh, fake leaf, gold leaf uh, to place on this frame to make it really pop. So now it's time to glue all these things in place. I am placing this wall on the table so that it is easier to glue these on using my Patex and gluing on the mirror and the frame. Then I decide where I want the pictures to hang on the walls and I'm carefully gluing them in place. I found some cheap Halloween decorations in our local store and got a few of them. And here I'm placing the big skeleton. I will move him later and place him another place. And I have this bag with a lot of different things in here. I'm going to use a few of these bats, a few of the spiders and one of the skeletons. Now it's time to hang the ghost that I made uh, in the collaboration with Jennifer uh, from Next Gen. I will link to that video in the info box below. But I am hanging these ghosts up on these um, wood sticks that I glued onto the top of the box. I take the little key and hang it on the coat rack here next to the door. And then I am going to glue all these small things in place, the flowers from the collaboration with Jennifer and the candy, also some of them from the collaboration. Then I cut off the little head of one of the smaller skeletons and here I'm just cleaning it up a bit and then I'm going to use a diluted black paint to give it a little more dimension. Then I glued the head in place on the table and I also glue a few loose candy in place on the tabletop. Then I took the raincoat that I made in the collaboration with Jennifer from NextGen and I hanged it onto the coat rack. So these plastic bags again from the collaborations, I wanted them to look as if someone has been out uh, buying things for the Halloween. So first of all, I took a tiny piece of extra um, plastic and put into the back here and tried to glue it a little uh, shut here, what didn't go as planned. Then I glued a arm and a leg from the little skeleton in place. And I glued this little uh, bag into the corner of the room. I also put a scrap piece of plastic in the other plastic bag and glued that on top of the first one and then I took some of these bags with candy in and glued them into the bag as well. So it looks like there is a lot of candy falling out of this plastic bag. Someone didn't want to run out of stuff for Halloweens so they just got a lot. I really mean a lot of candy for Halloween. So I'm gluing that all down here. For some reason I didn't show how I glued some of the bats to the wall and this uh, big skeleton into the corner. I used a tiny bit of this plate cotton wool 
to make some fake spiderweb all over the room and I just carefully glued it in place with a tiny bit of paper glue. I'm stretching it out really much here so you almost don't see it. And then I'm just placing these uh, pieces all over. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!